Hola mis amigos. Today I'm in Torreon. It is a city in northern Mexico and I'm here because it's missing from my guidebooks. And I'm just thinking, I'm looking at my guidebooks one day and I'm thinking, how bad does a place have to be for it to be completely, totally missing from the guidebooks? That's why I'm here. I wanted to see for myself what is Torreon. So what better way to uh, see what the city is like than heading into downtown? That's where I'm going now. Join me. Vamos. So I'm in Parque Alameda and I'm inside this tribute here. On the walls we can see all of those who have lost their lives and disappeared in the drug war in the state of Coahuila. Um, so all of those who have gone missing, which is thousands, all of their names are on the walls here. It's really, really sad. I don't know how I feel about filming in here, but the good thing is that I have heard that there have been signs of improvement on the war on drugs so that is really really good and anyway so there's three of these corridors or hallways and it's surrounded by this lake here which is really nice for the families to pay tribute there's another hallway there and then there's one here that goes over the water and I, I, I don't know how I feel about filming here I think I'll stop now but it's really sad but it's nice to come in and pay respect to those who have disappeared. We don't know how involved any of the people were as well. It, you know, there's cases of family members being kidnapped, all sorts of stuff. Lots of innocent people dying. So being here, you cannot judge who is on the wall. They could have been completely innocent. We just don't know. So, so sad. I just had a light bulb moment. There's a shoe shine right here, so I might get my shoes done and ask a couple of questions about Torreon before I make it into downtown. Genius idea. Hola, senor. Son sucios, no? Si. <laughs> Algo. Nunca limpio. No. No. No está acostumbrado. No, en mi país no, no existe este servicio. Este servicio, oh. Wow. Bueno, la lavada es para sacar, el, quitar el polvo. Ah, en serio. Sí, y luego la grasa porque te da estas manchas. Sí, sí. ¿De dónde viene? Um, ¿Mi país? Sí. Ah, voy, soy de Nueva Zelanda. Oh. Sí. ¿Y eres de Torreón? Torreón, México. Ah, sí. ¿Qué hay en um, Torreón? El teleférico, ¿no? ¿Teleférico? Sí. ¿Y la, el ferrocarril? Ajá, uh -huh, ok, sí. Y el Cristo de las Noas. Sí, sí. ¿Y cómo están tus manos? Bien. Yeah. ¿Recibes dolor o no? Nunca. Porque usas tus manos mucho. Ah, no, ya. No, todo no. bien. Eres Superman. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Sí. ¿Cómo te llamas? Rosendo González. Ah, mucho gusto. Sure. Sí, mucho yeah. gusto y gracias. Que tengas un buen día. Gracias. How good was that? My shoes are looking brand new like the day I bought them. And Rosento Gonzalez was his name. He told me a whole lot of stuff about Torreon. So now I'm going into the city more equipped than what I was 10 minutes ago. Oh, and it was only 25 pesos. That's like dirt cheap. I gave him 50 because that was so worth it. It was 15 minutes of his time. I gave him 50 pesos. So he earned that money. What a wizard with shoes. Wow, have a look at this. This building here has fallen into complete disrepair.
Look, the windows are caked in bird shit. Let's have a look inside. Oh, I can't see much. Maybe an old desk in there. Wow, so for this level of graffiti and vandalism, and for the building to look like it's just ready to be demolished, I wonder what happened. And that one next door is the same. There's a smashed window there. All of this is coming apart. What happened? But I am a weirdo. I do like this type of thing sometimes more than a pretty building, which is strange, I know, but I would love to go inside this type of building and explore more than a pretty museum in the best part of town. Jesus! No, literally, look. Torreon has the third biggest Jesus statue in the world behind me. It's 22 meters high and it's actually the tallest Jesus statue in North America. The other two that surpass this one um, are Christ the Redeemer in Brazil and then there's another one in Bolivia, I think. But this one here is the tallest in North America. This hilltop that I'm on now is called Cerro de las Noas. And basically where I am, it's a replica of the Holy Land. So that's why it looks fortress-like. It kind of looks like a castle. It's because it's trying to replicate the Holy Land. Right down to the very authentic cars in the car park. <laughs> Kidding. The statue weighs 580 tons. Damn, Jesus, lay off the tacos. Oh, by the way, to come up here, I caught one of these babies, a teleferico. It's my third teleferico in Mexico. And one thing I can say about it is that it was steaming hot. And the difference about this teleferico is that rather than launching from a hilltop or a mountainside like the other two I went on in Durango and Zacatecas, this one actually launches from above the street. So this launch pad here, you can see here, one has just popped out and then one is coming back in. The street runs directly below where you catch the teleferico from. And for 30 pesos, it's a return trip there and back. That's about $1.50 US for 30 pesos. I would suggest highly catching this teleferico up to the Hazel statue. I'm down Paseo Morelos. It's a pedestrianized strip here in Torreon. And what I wanted to show was some of the interesting architecture, like this gem right here, straight from the 1960s. Let's take a closer look. So as you can see, it's got the classic archways. I mean, this could be 1950s, I don't know, but it feels like a 1960s building. It used to be a dentist from the look of it. it used to belong to Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez L. Dentist. Let's have a look inside. No, it's definitely closed down. But as you can see, the cantilever balcony is up here. Are painted like a mustard color, typical from the 1960s. Let's have a look in the dockway. Look, the amber glass down there. Love that feature from the 60s. Got a couple of letters piling up. Looks like they were delivered yesterday. But this is this is what I'm really like taking in right now from Torreon is that yes, it has a bit of everything, but there's a lot of 1960s buildings. And I'm wondering, was there a big boom in the 1960s in the city? 
did something happen in the 60s where the, the place exploded in population and it was really thriving? I don't know. Uh, I can only go further into the city and keep looking and seeing what I see. Okay, so I ordered uh, on the recommendation of the really nice waitress here, I ordered birria and barbacoa. So I'm just waiting for my food. But check out the interior of this place. So this here, this, this mural here, I think this is the owner, the very first owner of the hotel when it was built in the 50s. And then there's a grand piano here. Look at the paneling on the wall. This type of thing you don't see anymore. Birria. Birria, aqui. Okay. Birria. Barbacoa. Barbacoa. E... Salsa. Salsa. Gracias. Gracias. Y tacos con... Tortillas. Ah, tortillas. Para hacer el taco de la barbacoa. Sí. Sí. ¿Sí? Esto. Sí. Ya se hace una tortillita, la mordida, cuchara. Ok. Sí. Sí. Cilantro aquí, acá, limón, ya. Qué rico, gracias. So delicious. The birria tastes like um, like a cow and a giant tomato. Had a steamy hot love affair in Torreon, and this is their love child. <laughs> it's so delicious. These meats are classed as carne asada, and that just means in Spanish slow cooked meat. So of course, when any meat is slow cooked, it becomes really tender. And this this stuff here just melts in your mouth. Barbacoa, birria, it just is like velvet. It's delicious. I can't, I don't want to stop eating. I seriously am getting full, but man, this is good. So I'm down here at Plaza de Armas. The sad thing is, is that there's a concert going on right in the middle there. So loud copyright music, which I can't put in my video. In the main center, there is a clock tower. Uh, that's like the centerpiece of the plaza. There's bench seats everywhere. Really nice plants and trees. So there's shade everywhere. Nice place to come and enjoy a Sunday afternoon, which I might have to do in a second. But yeah, it's a really nice place, popular. Almost every bench seat in the shade is taken. And as you can see, it's just a really tranquil place to come, apart from that car. Well, thank you for joining me on today's little tour of Torreon. Sorry it wasn't the most informative, it really was just to look around the city and to see why was it missed out of the guidebooks. And you know, after looking around, I can see why maybe it was left out. But for me, I love this place. Like I, I look at this. Look, this is a theater that we couldn't go into today. It was closed. But that is a gem. And there's a whole lot of other gems in the city. Really nice buildings and streets restaurants and bars places to visit like the jesus christ statue on the hill this is definitely not a shining diamond like some of the towns in mexico or cities maybe guanajuato or san miguel is your jam but yeah i, I like i don't mind the ugly buildings i i kind of like the urban decay for that reason i think that Torreon has been given the short end of the stick. It was left out of the guidebooks for the wrong reasons. And for that reason, you should definitely consider this as a location when you're considering traveling Mexico. I'm so glad I came. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios, nos vemos.
Oh God, look at this. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! What? This is awesome. Wow. It's the Ghostbuster mobile. Oh man, only in Mexico.